Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise. Master Jesus, once more again, family, the Lord bless each and every one of us for joining for in Jesus' name. In today's prophetic word title says, information about your sister is everywhere right now. And get ready because very soon this word is coming to your notice. Information about your sister is everywhere. Get ready. This word is coming to your notice in the name of Jesus. If this is your first time, God bless you. I use this medium opportunity to welcome each and every one of us for joining under the sound of my voice for in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says, For this is a day the Lord has made for us to rejoice and be glad. It has pleased God today that I bring us this fresh word. And I believe you will not live here the same way for in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And I want to use this medium opportunity to thank my amazing family, subscriber all over the world. That may the good Lord richly bless us all for in Jesus' name mighty name the lord gave me this particular prophetic word for somebody so that you will prepare your mind prepare your, your heart hallelujah on the decision that you are going to take on this particular issue hallelujah problems can be present to you but what god is expecting to see from you is the decision you take so what when, when god gave me this particular prophetic word the holy spirit took me to the story of that weed prostitute in the bible that was caught the bible says she was caught in the act of this in that bad act that we call immorality we all know that fornication is when you are still single and immorality is when you're married praise master jesus so this woman was caught in the act of immorality she was not sleeping alone she was doing that act with a man but when she was caught where was the man that is the question i'm asking myself the man was nowhere to, to be found but she was not doing it alone so according to the jewish culture they both were supposed to be stoned to death but the Bible is talking about the woman alone. They just want to kill you because, they, because you are the only one that has been exposed. And when, when, when Jesus Christ was presented before this issue, Jesus Christ looked at them and said, Yes, I'm not refusing the law. I'm not here to say no. But I just want to say one question. You all want to stone this woman because she has seen. Okay, let the first person that knows that he or she has never committed any sin cast the first stone. Then the Bible says they began to drop the stone from the oldest to the youngest. That is to show that the more you grow older, the higher your sin. Forget about what anybody will say. I am perfect. I am this. I am this. I'm telling us the gospel truth. Hallelujah. Most at time I learn from my decision. Most most at time I take example from my decision. There was a woman that was claiming to be a child of God, a Christian. This woman was like like treat everybody the same like she was like she was like she was like i told this woman that one day you are going to make a mistake and i'm going to use it to prove it to you that no matter how spiritual you claim that you are in a particular place there are some things that decision that you take hallelujah that will favor you one day this this woman was going to school uh, to, with the baby to seal the the baby off and and uh, they, they never gave this woman money like as you're going buy something and give it to my children so that they can eat to, to school as they were going there is something we call bread so they bought bread mixed with sardine and beans spaghetti together so when you go there at time they give you then you cut it in like in in, in the number of pieces you want this woman took the knife sheep all the beans sheep the sardine sheep the, the, the spaghetti on one side of the long bread i was there watching so this woman cut it into two if you look it from a distance, you will know that this woman has separated the bread into two and she has given it equally to the both her daughter and that other daughter. But meanwhile, what was inside was, was so deep. So if you just look it from outside, you say, wow, this is a good woman. But I knew what happened. Automatically, I went there. I told her, look at what you just did. I was there. I took the two bread. Look at, this is your own child, your own biological child. Look at how you have pushed all the sardine and everything. Look at this other girl very soon you will start claiming to do this what i'm trying to say is that no one is perfect praise master jesus but i'm not here to motivate us to to to, to, to live in sin praise master jesus so the prophetic title says information about your sister has been spread everywhere the reason why it's being spread is for us praise master jesus to know how to address the, the issue have you ever been disgraced in your life have you ever been exposed somebody like me i know myself well, when whatever, like whenever I am doing something, it, it always ends up being exposed. Praise Master Jesus. So I'm led by the Spirit of God. Jesus Christ told them that if you know that you have not seen, cast the first stone. 
wherever you're watching or connecting, the Lord said, get ready to take your sister back. If your brother has been exposed by their errors, what they need is for you to advise them, go closer to them, embrace them. Whosoever that has been exposed, there are a lot of people that has been doing a lot of rough, rough things, but they have never been exposed. But don't, if, if your own has not been exposed, don't laugh at somebody that their own has been exposed. There are ladies that got pregnant, they mock at them, they insulted them. There are a lot of people that have did errors, praise Master Jesus. But some of them were exposed, some were not exposed. If your own has been exposed, you don't need, praise Master Jesus, to laugh at somebody or pass judgment or try to crucify someone because of their errors. In the mighty name of Jesus. So the Lord say your sister, information about your sister has been exposed. Your sister is human. You must know that there are some errors that it, that that maybe we can fall inside by accident or by or by mistake. The, 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 the moment we notice that we are inside, we should not give up for in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. There is a saying in my dialect that if you slap a child with your right hand, pull that child back with your left hand. But I pray for someone, wherever you're watching or connecting, that any decision that you, you will take in judging or in concluding in any case it will be for the glory of God. For in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen.